All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So I just finished up a stream about 15 minutes ago and on this stream, there were a lot of people expressing concern about a specific topic and what it meant for, you know, the near future of Dokkan battle. So I thought I would make a video just addressing it and hopefully putting all of your concerns and your worries to rest. Okay, so of course the topic I'm referring to is what you see on the screen right now. A big shout out to Nordax, by the way, for posting this. And uh, as you can see, Naruto Blazing is going to be shutting down after roughly four to five years of operation. It was one of the OG anime gacha games. And, you know, it is a pretty sad moment for the gacha community as a whole, right? The notice says, Ultimate Ninja Blazing is shutting down. We regret to announce the closure of Ultimate Ninja Blazing. Thank you all for your support, and we hope you enjoyed playing. We will be keeping the servers open until um, February 9th, Tuesday at 6.59. So please continue to enjoy Ultimate Ninja Blazing until the very end. All items can be used until the last day. So if you have any items or Ninja Pearls in your account, please use them before this date. Also, from today, we are disabling the purchase of Ninja Pearls. For more information, please check the notices and so on and so forth. Some random stuff down at the bottom here. But uh, yeah, basically, Naruto Blazing will be no more next year in uh, February. And you know, since Dokkan Battle is also a Bandai published game, a lot of my you know fellow global players were very concerned. They're like, yo, does this mean that Dokkan is also on the way out? Does that mean that Dokkan's also gonna be shut down soon, just like Blazing, since they're both Bandai games? And the answer to that question is no. You don't have to make, or you don't have to be concerned whatsoever, because Dokkan Battle is still very much profitable for Bandai. Okay, the only reason that Naruto Blazing is going away the only reason they're shutting down the servers is because the game is no longer profitable enough for them to justify keeping it going, right? Like, it just doesn't make sense for Bandai to continue to support the game when it's just not making enough money. People are not spending enough money to buy Ninja Pearls and whatever else you can buy in the game. You know, I don't really play the game, I'll be honest, so I don't know too much about it, but I do know that, of course, it's been around for a long time, right? It is one of the older gacha games out there, and... Um, there are a lot of people that I know that have enjoyed the game a lot in the past, and obviously a lot of Naruto fans in general, so um, it's still pretty sad for, for those people. But uh, from what I've been told from, you know, longtime Blazing players, um, the game just got a little bit too free to, or, or I was going to say free to play friendly, but the opposite of that, uh, pay to win, right? It got too pay to win, and you know, a lot of the free to play players felt like the focus was just on PvP and they felt like they had to get like the new units every time or they'd be screwed. And uh, I think, you know, the fact that they alienated a lot of their player base that way really caused the downfall, the demise of the game. Now, that's just what I've heard. That's just a little bit of speculation on my end. I could be wrong about that, but that seems to be what happened and that seems to be why the game is being shut down. Now, we're gonna pop over to this uh, Facebook page or this Twitter page real quick, actually. Shout out to Panime HQ for posting this. And this is a uh, list of the highest grossing gacha games from, let's see, I believe it's July, right? June or July of this year. And as you can see, number one is Fate Grand Order. I mean, it's not even close. Like this game is just insane. $248 million US. That's, I, I, yo, like, that's insane. But right below it, you know, quite a bit below in terms of value. But number two on the list is Dragon Ball Z. Dokkan Battle at $100 million. They go down the list. Some, uh, you know, names you might recognize like Grand Cross, um, you know, Duel Links, Treasure Cruise, Dragon Ball Legends. Um, you know, some of these other ones that you might not, might not be as familiar to you, but are very popular in Japan like uh, Grand Blue, for example, and so on and so forth, Fire, Fire Emblem Heroes, Epic Seven. So yeah, a lot of recognizable names in the gacha sphere, right? But as, as you can see, you know, Blazing is not there. Naruto Blazing is not in the top 30 of the highest gro grossing gacha games. And I'm not really sure where it would be on the list if it continued, but I'm guessing, you know, it's it wasn't doing so hot, right? So for that reason, 
I'm guessing the game was struggling for a while now, right? But, you know, we're now in December and after many months or even a year plus of poor, poor performance, uh, Bandai just decided to shut it down. But as you can see, Dokkan is doing really well. Dokkan is still very much making a lot of money for Bandai. So as long as that continues to be a thing, they're not going to be shutting the game down because why would they, right? Like the only purpose, at least for Bandai and Akatsuki, to you know keep Dokkan going or any of their other gacha games going is to generate income or generate re generate revenue, right? And since it's still doing really well, um, Dokkan's gonna be fine for the foreseeable future. I would say, honestly, I can see this game continuing to uh, just stick around for at least. Obviously, I don't know for sure. But I would say like four to five years, easy, because we still got the continuation of the Dragon Ball Super manga, and obviously the anime is going to continue at some point, and when that happens, there's going to be a ton of other characters and forms of characters that they can make new units for, and obviously, you know, even though they're not doing a perfect job, I think as far as the Dokkan team, you know, keeping their player base interested, keeping their player base engaged, I think they're doing a decent job. Okay, there have been dry periods, obviously, like right now we're in a dry period for the global side of the game. But uh, in general, like they have been pretty good with, you know, providing us with new events, new features, interesting new units, new mechanics, all those things. So yeah, guys, I don't see Dokkan going away anytime soon. You don't have to be concerned. I saw a bunch of people being like, yo, yo, Blazing's gone. Dokkan is right behind it. It's over, guys. Enjoy while you can. Don't spend any more money to buy stones because it's going to be wasted because, you know, the game's shutting down. And I'm just like, yo, relax. Just chill. Okay, it's not happening anytime soon. You don't have to worry. Blazing was just not performing, right? It was just not making money. And when that happens, obviously, you know, the game's not going to be sticking around for, for very long. Um, if you guys actually play Blazing and you have a better idea of what exactly led to the game's demise, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'd be really interested to read about it because um, I haven't been keeping up too much with, you know, the news for this game since I don't play it. I was never really too interested in it. I am a huge Naruto fan for sure. Like, I love the anime, I love the manga, but I don't know, something about this game just never really interested me, you know? But uh, I do know it was beloved by a lot of people, so... Uh, to those of you that, you know, used to play or continue to play, still have an account, I feel for you. I mean, look, even though we, we, you know, we did say it's not going away anytime soon, right? That's for sure. But at the same time, um, Dokkan is not going to stick around forever. Okay, there will come a day when we find a notice similar to this in the in-game news, right? Saying, you know, Dokkan battle is shutting down, you know, thank you for your support. We'll be keeping the servers open until this specific time, maybe like two months away, and uh, we're gonna shut down all the Dragonstone purchases, you know, all that stuff. Continue to enjoy until that date, but you know, at that time, the game's gonna go away, right? That's gonna happen one day. The game's not gonna stick around forever. Nothing lasts forever. But as long as the game continues to make enough money for them to justify keeping the servers open, then they're going to do that, right? So I'm predicting at least four or five more years of Dokkan. I'm predicting we make it to the 10th anniversary and possibly slightly beyond that, maybe even more. I mean, look, like as, as awesome as, uh, you know, as amazing as Naruto is and as big as the fan base is for Naruto, I don't think it's really compares to the Dragon Ball, you know, fandom, right? Like I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Dragon Ball fandom is quite a bit bigger than the Naruto fandom, so I think that plays a big role, and also the fact, of course, that we do have, you know, more, um, they, they have more, like, properties, I guess, or different, like, games and series to pull from, like, Fighters and Xenoverse and, and Heroes, and, um, we still got, you know, more Dragon Ball Super to come, so I think we'll be good for a while. So, don't worry, guys, that is basically the general idea of the video, that's the general gist of the video. I just want to put all of your worries at rest or, you know, put it to to, to bed. Whatever the expression is, I don't really know. Uh, it's late. I, I was streaming for like four hours before this, so my brain is not working too well. But uh, hopefully you guys got the point and uh, no need to worry. Okay, so that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys 
enjoyed it. Hope you guys feel a little bit better now if you were concerned. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.